hope Professor Fig got my owl. I need to tell him and the keepers that Ranrock knows where the last repository is. According to the owl I received, Ranrock is moving more quickly than we could have anticipated. This is grave news indeed. We had hoped for more time to discuss the best path forward. Let us hear what the student has to say. Professor, you received my owl. Ranrock has the last of Bragpool's journals. He killed Lodgok to get it. He knows where the last repository is. Godric's heart. Lodgok. Lodgok and Ranrock were brothers. Lodgok was bringing the journal to me. Ranrock is a monster. We need to know where the final repository is. Surely this changes things. Ranrock has Bragbor's journals and knows where the final repository is. We obliviated Bragbor. He kept journals? Why would he have documented all of this? He didn't know what we were containing. Isadora told Bragbor about the magic when she asked him to build a container for her. I've seen her memories. Isadora left memories for someone to find? You know what she did? Her memories showed what she did for her father, which I also saw in Professor Rookwood's pensive. And a conversation with Bragbor in which she expressed frustration about the limits being placed on her use of ancient magic. Based upon the memories they have seen, I believe our young friend is well aware of the grave circumstances in which we find ourselves. The next trial will involve an exceptional level of magical skill and a nuanced ability to interact with beasts. Find a face of stone and tendrils. I should advise you that you must engage with any beast that is part of the trial on your own. Professor Bakar will meet you in his pensive room. An exceptional level of magical skill? Nuanced ability to interact with beasts? Hmm. I suppose we should begin our search for a face of stone and tendrils, whatever that may be. Very well. Professor Weasley has been keeping an eye on me. Perhaps we should meet there, so she has no reason to raise concerns with Professor Black. I shall see you near the coast. Perhaps then you can tell me a little more about the memories of Isadora that you witnessed. You're here. I have good news. We do not have any of Ranrock's loyalists to contend with. Of course, the bad news is that it's likely because they no longer need to track the Keepers for information. Revelio. be done. Do you recognize the head sculpted there? That's a head. I can't say that I do. It appears to be a fearsome beast known as a graphorn. And the prints carved into the ground lead me to believe that a graphorn will somehow open the way forward. That's what Professor Rackham meant when he spoke of my needing an ability to interact with beasts. It would seem so. I do know that the last of a long dynasty of Graphorns lives nearby. They call him the Lord of the Shore. I suspect you'll need to bring him here. What happens next, I can't say. Have you ever subdued a Graphorn, Professor? I have, yes. Years ago, at Stonehenge, of all places. The Ministry still owes me for that favor. It can be difficult, of course. They are massive, after all. But it's not impossible. 
It's my experience that many of your spells will have no real effect. You'll need to wear him down. If that's what must be done, I'll do it. Excellent. I know this area well enough. When you see the remains of a large sea creature, you're in the right place. Now, Professor Rackham made it clear that you must engage with any beast that is part of this trial on your own. So I shall wish you good luck and wait for your return in the map chamber. Very well, Lord of the Shore. Show yourself.
your help, friend. See what's up his sleeve this time, brother. Didn't anyone ever teach you not to take things that don't belong to you? that my friend you had so much fun. it'll take more than this to stop <laughs> whether you like it or not. Perhaps Professor Rakham was right to have had faith in you. I still have my reservations. Isadora, as you will see, was not who she seemed. I can only hope that you are.
My memories should answer any questions you may have about the power you will need to protect. Thank you, Professor Bakar. I shall see you back in the map chamber. Hello? Isadora? Isadora? Son, I'm glad you're here. Isadora was not at her home. I know. Her father. First of all... What is it? It is as though he was stripped not only of his pain, but of all emotion. Everything is much worse than I feared. Neve was right. Isadora hasn't stopped. I've just learned that she has been wielding that magic on students. We must gather the others. to your common room, all right? What have you done? Students, Isadora. Everyone feels pain. And why? Because of your arrogance? Your obsession with secrets? He won't suffer any longer. Not my father. Not my students. No one. Isadora. Set. Down your wand. Professor, you taught me to hone my power, not throw it away. I did not teach you this. Expelliarmus! <laughs>
The caverns below Hogwarts, where you fought Isadora. Is that the location of the final repository? It is. You see, we could not destroy the strands of emotion Isadora had stolen from so many. So we did all that we could to keep them safe. We also realized that until they could be destroyed, the magic used to create them was a danger to wizard kind. Hence, we became keepers. Keepers of an unfathomable secret. We knew that someday, one with the ability to see traces of ancient magic might be seduced by its power. We built the trials to lead that person to us, to allow them to prove themselves worthy of the knowledge we'd kept hidden and the responsibility that accompanies it. Have I not proven myself, Professor? I need to get to that repository before Ranrock does. You have, and you will. But the repository is protected by powerful ancient magic. To enter, you must craft a special wand from the four artifacts you found above our pensives. So the repository is safe from Ranrock for now. If he is, as you suspect, capable of using the power of the other repository, I fear he will be able to breach our defenses. Then I must go now and craft this wand. Perhaps Mr. Ollivander will help me. Another Ollivander? I'm not surprised. As I am sure he will tell you, this wand may be used for only one purpose. Return with the wand, and we will open the way forward. I shall send an owl ahead to Ollivander. Whilst you visit him, I'll reach out to Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley? Yes. I may have made an error in judgment by not informing her of Ranrock's intentions earlier. I only hope it's not too late. If Ranrock really is going to try to drill below Hogwarts, we'll need all the help we can get. All right, Professor. I'll see you soon. <laughs>